Welcome to a foggy day in Imperium Galactic Survival. In this part, I want to talk a little bit about the issues around operating capital vessels and particularly the fuel consumption because what I was going to do in this video was go up and try the ship out in space and visit the moon. But if just to give you an example, if I come in capital vessel here, you can see I wind up a lot of permethium and I'm already down to 273. And it's the same if I go to ship stores. You can see I've got only 37 of these large um, permethium packs and they won't last that very long. But what I'm actually going to do is transfer them to here for a very specific reason. And so to, in order to be able to maintain this ship, what I'm going to have to do is deploy some auto miners because if you can remember way back in part one, I actually set the game conditions so that the resources never run out. And what we can do is just unlock that. I'd love to get to level three, but I can't do that just at the moment. And the other thing I also need to do is get up to level 20 so that I can get these fusion cells. Because if I show you here, you can see here, this large fuel pack, which is 150 PU. I mean, these are 30, these are 150. And these take 50 Promethean pellets. If you come up to the fusion cells, you can see you get twice the amount of fuel, but with hydrogen. So from the same amount of Promethean, and that makes a vast amount of difference. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to start, if I go into the, I think you need advanced constructor to make uh, auto miners. I've got five auto miner cores that I've picked up. And what I'm going to do is, I think I can only make two because that's all the zircosium I've got. So we're going to make a couple of these uh, auto miner or tier two auto miners. Mm, a bit hungry as well, so we might as well. While I'm, we can do it on the base this side to construct that out. Do some meds. Wow, well, we need a steak. That's all done. And we'll just wait here for that auto miner to finish. And what we're going to do is just wait here and see if, and see if the auto miner finishes. Actually, you know, back to player. Back to, yeah, we, I think these should fit in here. They're not heavy. And it's the auto miners is the reason why I've actually moved this over to here. And of course, the other thing I need to do straight away is switch that advanced constructor off because you can see here all my work I've been doing on the capital vessel is completely drained out that battery power. Now, the other thing I want to do in this part is if I show you here is I want to improve my standing with the Polaris because if I come in here, it says I can mine if friendly or better. So. If I get this up, I can then exploit. I've got this and a couple of Promethean mines there. And we're going to try and be a little bit friendly towards the Polaris. And it should shut down some of their drones. Well, I'm not particularly that worried about there. Doubt out a few. I think this would be a good one to start with, seeing when I'm going to be working with some. A Prometheum that's going to give me 3000 reputation points with Polaris and a thousand credit. And we're just going to click that. Wow, it's only 15, that's not going to take long to do. And I'm going to get out here. This guy keeps hanging around, so I think we may get rid of him. We're just going to extend the ramp. And shove him out of the way. Oh, I haven't got the jetpack on. So let's just, just get up into my. Uh, uh, what we call it? Hover vehicle? Sorry, brain faded a little bit there, guys. The other thing I'm a little bit worried about is my uh, ammunition situation. So I think what I might do is. I think I should have the capability to make a, another thousand rounds of ammunition. And I should have switched the power on while I was at it. And back off the capital 
vessel. Hey, get off my ship. I need the XP anyway. Plus, uh, the meat will come in useful. Ship. I think we can probably transfer this to that in the capital vessel. So I've got plenty of supplies in there. We've got some veggie burgers, we've got some meat. So, okay, we're looking good. And where are we going to go? Let's deploy these auto miners. Well, we've got this one here with 10% of deposits left. I think what we'll do is we'll come here and mine these, and then we will come and pick up but deploy the auto miners there because these are two side by side. I mean, I could put them into the Polaris. I don't think, yeah, I think that's the best option. So we're just going to if that first Promethean deposit. I think probably the easiest way would be to fly down the lake. Yeah, we is there a waypoint there? We fly down across the lake here, make some very good progress without being bounced all over the place. We're flying into the night, but that's not a problem. And what I'll do now, guys, is I'll put a cut in here, and I'll see you once we are approaching the Promethium deposit. All right, guys, we're just coming up on the first Promethium deposit. I don't really want to do this in the dark so I've got me tent so I'm just gonna jump out here actually let's just save a bit of fuel on there as well ah uh, go away okay clusters left okay One. I think that's it. That's all three of them gone. And we might as well loot them. <laughs> Got a couple of eggs. Oh well. There's one back here, but I don't think it's that much. Of... Yeah, go away, insect it. There's another one down there. All I wanted to do was set my tent up and all you had to do was leave me alone. And you insisted on attacking me. Right, let's just move away here. And I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing. I'm just gonna come here and put the tent out and game. Save a bit of fuel and then uh, they've donated some food to me. I'll just drop back there. Jump off. Put the tent out. Sleep through the night. Here we are. Just gonna jump back in. Back, back up to there. Nice bright day, we can see what we're doing. It helps if I turn on the thrusters and the lift. And here we go at last. So, what I want to do here is just mine out what's left of here, finish that, 
uh, Polaris mission. And that should give us a very quick win. And as far as I know, that Polaris mission is repeatable. So we could do it over and over again for some quick wins. There's the line up here. I don't think I'm going to bother. And I'm going to hook that. So I'm actually going to get it to the right one. Container controller. I don't think there's much left in this mine. Yeah, there's the bits. I think we'll just go straight down through here, straight towards it. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to dig down here. Oh, and the spiders are back. Anyway, I'm going to dig this out first and then we'll kill some spiders as well. So, I'll see you once I approach this rock here. Right, guys, the, it's now growing, so it's hopefully it won't take long to do this. Hopefully we get. Yeah. We got 34 promethium from that, and you can see the Polaris Board of Directors gratefully appreciates your formidable services. I'm just going to dig out this last bit. I think this will be the will completely empty this mine. So I'll see you once I've actually done this, guys. So here we are. We're just coming up on this piece. Another 21 promethium. Of course, the quick way to check is that, yeah, the mine's gone now. Okay, spiders. A quick reload. And where are, where are my favourite friends? Ah! of the stories don't fight spiders next to a, a mine because that means I'm now stuck in the bottom of this mine. Ah, come on. Right, let's just let's get off, off the gun. Yeah, should be able to yeah. Right guys, I need to get myself. There's a hole. Got a great big hole there, so what we're going to do is just dig up through here and get out of here. I'm just going to jump there and dig out a bit more here. It's going to jump here and just going to let the jetpack build back up again and going to jump out of here. What a pain in the neck. Stupid spiders. Anyway, we're back out of the mine. <laughs> and what I want to do now is just going to mark these here. It's going to do it. And what we're probably going to have to do is cut down to about here. So I don't want to go through these mountains, so we're going to have to cut round and about like that. So there's the Promethean deposit, there's the waypoint. So we're just going to go off in that direction, guys. It's going to take me a little while to get there. So, again, if nothing happens, I will see you once I get to where I'm going. Here we are, guys. What I've done is I've flown right round this mountain through here. I'm hoping to cut through this gap here to get to the Promethean. That way I've managed to avoid having to work over these mountains with the hover vehicle. Just going to cut through here and hopefully things will go fine. We're just going to split through these trees here. Right, we're now coming up on a radioactive area. And hopefully the Promethean deposit won't be surrounded by hostiles or anything nasty. Some reason this one's one's ninety percent. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't really make a difference. And what we should be able to do now 
is deploy these. And hopefully I won't fall down the hole. Again, I think that's going to be roughly in the right place. I think if you're not on the mine itself, it won't turn blue. And to drop that. And let's get rid of that. And of course, one thing we've got to do is power it up. And let's just have a quick look. Uh, 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 we should be able to do it with the link, shouldn't we? We put it there. And then. Yeah, yeah. we're just going to. Just going to top it right up with all these big cells. Might as well get that, make it worth a while. Do that. So that's the first one set up, and I mean, I could stand here and see if it will. I mean, it takes a little while to mine stuff out. You can see here it's there's next product in six seconds. So if we just let that count down, and this will be operating for this operational time hours and minutes 26 hours there we are so we now use one premium it's a bit of a slow burn process but I, I would certainly recommend it guys if you want to operate a capital vessel because otherwise you will find that you're going to be always running around trying to find Prometheum power the ship and it just becomes a bit self-defeating to be honest across here and there's a little bit of Prometheum there actually we might as well Let's try a little bit of Prometheum yes there is so, whoops nope uh. rock drill we might as well grab it I mean Prometheum's Prometheum and there's no point in throwing away resources. Now, I'm a bit further in now, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for our local friendly bugs. Oh, there's a drone up there as well. Okay. okay. Just upset the Xerax, never mind. Yeah, I've forgotten completely all about drones. One way you can check, guys, is if you back to here, you can see the Prometheum underground. Of course, with ordinary mines, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Looking at spiders, okay, we're just going to power up this and get plenty of fuel in here. It's going to be worth it. That link now, we don't need it. Any hostiles around? No. Nope. A little bit more Prometheum over there, we might as well grab that while we're at it. I mean, it's only two Prometheum, though. Prometheum's Prometheum. have a quick he do any damage to my ship no nope. okay Good. so that is how you can guarantee your supply of a capital vessel especially if your game parameters say that these deposits will never run out so now it just becomes a matter of keeping these auto miners charged for a supply of Prometheum and of course it also applies to other resources on the planet so if you want if you want copper or iron so what I could do if I had the resources I could put another three auto miners on this area here in Talon and effectively I would never run out of base materials and I can hear spiders so okay where are you boys um, I want some revenge for 
you uh, making me fall down inside of that line just now earlier on. Where are you? Have that while we're at it. And I, I do wonder whether when Alpha 10 comes out they're going to increase the strength of the spiders and maybe give them the spitting capability back again because at the moment they're annoying but at the same time they're, they're quite easy to deal with and let's just go over here and cut through here and see what mischief we can get into I'm half tempted to just come over here and maybe we're see what over here with this supply station. Maybe, maybe if we're just back there. Is this, so if we sky over here, guys, and see what we can do. So just going to sky over to that new marker. And I'm not sure I'm going to take out the supply station, but it might pay. Whoa. Actually, I haven't talked about this, so. So you can see we've now improved our standing with the uh, Polaris. Maybe we can get another we weapons here. Privacy matters. Shut down some of their drones. Okay. So the greetings Polaris. You can shut down some of their drones. Just pay for the wife flight. Okay. So it says that we've got to... Why is that small wreckage suddenly appeared? Over there. Does that mean I've got to go and find some drones or can I just go and kill some? Okay. Let's go and check out the small wreckage just in case that is part of the mission. I'm just going to go over here, guys. Of course. Any of you guys familiar with the game, you know that the small wreckage is part of the initial landing area. Whoever this is part of the mission. If not, well, there's fine locations to locate. I mean, it seems a bit odd that this wreckage. Last time I noticed some drones were floating around here. Okay, does that mean we're going to get some drones here? Yeah, there they are. Okay. Ah! You keep moving. There's a rocket drone over there, so keep hitting him. One more, come on. Hey! Definitely not a mission to take on when you are not fully equipped. That's probably the polite way of saying that, guys. So let's just oh, it lithium power cells. So there's a little bit of a sucker trap. We should if I stand there, and we should be able to get to that one. And. Oh, well, we've got a couple more power cells, that's good. That's all useful stuff to have. So we're just going to get here, we've got some passenger devices. And did I take any damage? Uh, yeah, we took a little bit of damage on the cockpit. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so. Carrots took a little bit of damage as well. But besides that, we're okay. Let's just, well, this can go in. All this can go into the, keep meaning to make a mini gun actually, and I keep forgetting. So we've now got that area there. And what's the 
what's our standing with the Xerox, ah, not Xerox, Polaris now. So we're up to nearly 6,000. Pretty good. And uh, privacy matters, wildlife cam. Scout out a few ore deposits. Now, uh, I had no message to trust the whole planet. So the message looks unpacked, sort, short sojourn. Five beer epic drill. Okay, this, what's this saying? Well, top management IDA, unknown message seems. Okay, yeah, we've got to approach a station. Ah, I've, I've got a feeling this is. Well, I don't know where that is. We're in landing pad. I've got a feeling that. This mission is the one where you approach and then you end up defending their base. That may not be such a good idea. Maybe we're... Oh no, we've got to go out into orbit. Maybe that will be something for the next part, guys. We'll go up into space and it probably could be in another system, which will be annoying because I don't actually have the warp capability. But I think just, just to wind this part up, just for a little bit of fun, guys, work well. We're going to. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just stop and land, and we'll just deploy the tent. Hopefully, I should be able to deploy the tent here. So, yeah. And as I say, just to wind this part up, we're just going to sleep through the night. Power, say power. And. And maybe we'll just go and have some fun with the Xerox patrols. Here we are. So, Power Down is already replayable. Wow. That didn't take very long. This is one of the nice things about the minor missions is that you can just redo them over and over and over again if you want to. Anyway, guys. So, we're just going to come here. And of course we've got power up. And gonna get off the ground and we're just gonna fly in this direction guys. Right guys, here we are, we're on the marker and I think Xerax territory is this way, so we'll set another marker so we know we're gonna enter into it. Here we are, five hundred and thirty meters. And of course it's all trees, which is gonna be fun. So I'm not going to take out the supply station. I'm just going to see if we can. There we are. Okay, those are just ripping dogs. dogs here. Might as well just loot those out. And what I'm really after is these guys. Let's see if we can get anything off these. Hey, stop messing about. Well, uh, we got a laser upgrade crit. We got some laser ammunition. And there's a ripping dog there. So more meat and other supplies from them. Grab those. And drop back into the ship. And of course, we're going to drop back in there. And we're just going to edge our way into Xerox territory. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty early encounter. There's open territory there, so. I do like being in open territory. So... 
So you're saying that there's some hostiles over there. So I can't see them. Launching guy there. There's a bit of a dead patrol here, so let's go in. Oh, we got a rocket out of that guy and a sandwich <laughs> and some more bodies here. Let's grab that. Um, a bit of medication. Ah, there's another one right next to him. This should have been a four man. That was the laser guy. This should be a four man patrol. Another. Okay, there. So you're there. So where's your fourth member? Okay. that and where is where actually is the base get rid of that marker I mean I want to mark the supply station so I know where it is it says it's in that direction but oh, we need something to eat so uh, that off a right. couple more patrols guys and that's where I'm gonna call it for this part I'm just gonna okay. these, are, these are ripper dogs again. Spiders around here as well. There. There. Ah, he was a laser guy, but he didn't actually. Uh, come on, one game, back out. There's some insect, insectoid thing, creatures here. Quite a lot of ripper dogs here, actually here. There and grab them. And another one over here. Grab him. And the. I mean, we can get closer to the base. There's bound to be patrols next near the base. Right, we now have the base on radar. The guns aren't tracking yet, so um, this is one way that you can operate in here is by there we are. Though you're only worth 900 points. Okay. 
some more there. I think there's some drones coming in, which is a bit unfortunate. So what we can do is just get down and loot these guys. And hey. Right, pull back. They got drones coming in. Any more drones here? Well, might as well. Then we've expanded the ammunition. Might as well uh, loot the drone. Yeah, that. And of course, uh, repair the ship. Okay, ship repaired. Another drone just coming through the trees there. Got him. Probably another drone through here. Yep. This one. Suppression fire down. I think we've got them. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to grab these. Whoops. No. Guys are doing really well. I'm just gonna pick up these guys here. Got some more credits. Not that I need them, but never mind. Have a few more credits. And I obviously shot down a tree as well. <laughs> because I can't see where these got my We know where he is now. Oops. Uh, his friends must be here. Okay. I'm just going to grab some of that. Some of the credits. And I'm just going to grab this. Stand still. You've got that. Anything else still tucked in here? Oh, we got some trip more logs. Oh, well, we'll take the logs. I mean, if I shot them, we might as well take them. Some more food. Come here. And I think that. Oops, we got some more logs here. Want to grab those? To see my terrible ship. Wait. Not firing. Sometimes you've got to blow the tree out of the way to break down the opposition, which is what we've just done. And get to. Oh, we've got some laser ammunition out of that. We'll just take the tree down. Ah. Any more? 
any more bodies laying around here, or are you just the spare guy? Oh, there's another one over here. It's only there. Oh, got some meds. That's good. This is where it's down. She's about to tell me that my inventory is full. Yep. Yeah, well, we're not worried about the coffee anyway. So. And again, okay, just gonna pair this up. And I think this is where I'm gonna leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do now is make my way out of here, one way or another, <laughs> while we're actually fighting. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.